Well, Blue Light Jazz isn't your typical fare for Christian films, but let's just say this one breaks the mold. Coming out in theaters nationwide on Friday, April 13th, director Steve Taylor is already overwhelmed by the positive response he's received from theaters and audiences around the country. It is, yes, the reaction is, is better than I was hoping for. So uh, that's, it kind of kept gaining steam as we were tracking across the country. And um, by the time we got to Portland, it was, a, it was a pretty wild night at our premiere. A positive response was to be expected, however, since the movie was largely funded by fans through Kickstarter.com. Through the website, they raised over $350,000, which, as lead actor Marshall Altman shared with CCM exclusively on the red carpet premiere, made the movie that much more special. Oh, man, it's, you know, it's been a really special thing because, um, you know, this isn't our movie. This is thousands of other people people's movies you know what I mean like I mean this is this isn't ours this is our Kickstarter backers this is our street teams you know we have thousands of people who've made our movie possible so it really feels like you know even when we were shooting the movie it felt so special to do this for the for the people not for us it wasn't our movie anymore Marshall is no stranger to Hollywood on the big or small screen but this role in particular was one that he couldn't pass up well, I just read it and it was just, uh, you know, Dawn goes on such a journey and it's so much fun and there's like deep moments and, you know, I go to despair and I come all the way, you know, it's just, it was just, the part was just awesome, you know, I'm in outer space, I'm, it's amazing, I'm the Pope, <laughs> you know, it's, I mean, it's for an actor, it was like a dream role. Just as with most things, however, despite the positive response, the hard work, real work, is just beginning, according to Steve Taylor. You know, I mean, in many ways, it sounds like a, you know, one of those Hollywood answers. It's already successful in our minds because we made the movie we wanted to make and we had so many uh, people join with us. Um, but uh, we're not uh, stopping anything. Don and I are going to be actually working the phones. We've got a call bank going at my house. We'll have like 20 or 30 of our uh, street teamers there and we'll be uh, calling people up and encouraging them to come out on opening weekend. And uh, people that uh, tweet a review, we're going to retweet the reviews and call them and thank them. So we're going to be busy for the next 48 hours. As solid as the movie is, however, true success will be determined at the box office, which is why lead actor Marshall Altman is hoping that people will step up, pay for their tickets, and support the film in theaters nationwide. Yeah, that's my hope, is that people see it. Because if nobody goes to the box office and sees it, then no one cares because it didn't make any money. So there's not, you know, we're proving that there's a viable market for this kind of a movie. So for all the people out there, if you've ever complained, if you've ever complained about a Christian film or didn't think you were represented on screen, come out and see the movie so that we can make more of these and that people go, hey, there's, a, there's an audience out there that exists. So stand up and exist, please.